games of it. It's fun. But now we're in the game, so... Yeah. Um, so the game three has started. This should be Corner Acropolis. Uh, we yes. can see those corners real quick before we look at the players. There's extra resources in every single corner. Those are raised on a slight hill. Uh, and you can see in this particular corner, we have tons of resources, and that's going to be on Vodka's side. So Vodka with a bit of an advantage oh, wow. in this corner. Yeah, that corner in the, the west is crazy loaded with resources. That is a nice corner. Um, I'll introduce Vinchester real quick, and then, Smarthy, you can jump in with Vodka. So Vinchester going to be playing in that beautiful pink-purple hue again. Uh, again, we're on 1TC this game. Or not again, but this time we're on 1TC. Vinch will be Japanese. We'll have main gold, uh, excuse me, main gold sort of on the front. Uh, I think they have two main golds here. They, it's not broken up by um, secondary and stuff. I think that They this, have two seven aisles yeah. of gold. This main gold above... Yeah, it is like that, more or less, yeah. This main gold yeah. above Vinch is um, partially obstructed, but I think it's three panels. Um, so it should be just fine for admin purposes. Sorry to interrupt you guys. Yeah, Go I was ahead. just confirming that it is more or less basically two main golds for each player. I think one of them has got one more tile um, by design. Gotcha. And we'll see uh, Barry's to the side for Vinch. Has resources on the back, has resources on the front, but uh, will not really be able to close this in. At least one would think. You can see that there's a big slope in the center of this map. Uh, between Vinchester's side in the middle, and there's a big slope kind in this map Kind of a valley between, between them, yeah. Absolutely. So do you want to introduce Vodka's map? Yeah, sure. So it looks like Vodka also has the two main golds. One is very forward and exposed, and then one in a, a lot better position I would probably go for first. Uh, his wood looks okay. He has some in the back and some forward as well. Stone... Uh, some to the back, some down to the side. It's got the two boars, berries off to the side. Um, yeah, this map looks like it probably won't be too uh, easy to wall. It looks quite a bit more aggressive than the other two maps that we've seen. Yeah, so vodka with Aztecs with four on wood would not expect uh, would not be surprised at all to see a lot of aggression. Excuse me. Um, Vinchester at the moment, I don't see his wood line. Where is Vinch taking wood? Uh, he's just about to put up his lumber camp uh, and send some villagers forward. Interestingly, uh, went with a mill before the lumber camp there, huh? Um, Japanese, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, they, Japanese get a uh, boost on that anyway. So, Okay, so villagers there chewing up the boar. You can see scouting being done pretty well by Vodka. That might tip off Vinchester that he's planning a little bit of aggression. Uh, Vodka's going to find Vinchester's map. Vinchester's just scouting the middle for the moment. And yeah, uh, for people asking what the name of this map is, I believe it is Cornacropolis, and uh, you can download yes. those maps on AOC Zone. I'll post a link at the end of this game. Uh, my apologies for not doing that before this game. Let you guys know the Call to Arms format, all of the rules, all the maps, and uh, you can check that out on your own. But yeah, it seems like we don't have any bugs here. This game is going to be played uh, through. We are at the five-minute mark, so I do not expect a re. And uh, yeah, are you ready for Game 3, Smarthy? Yeah, I think this one will be exciting. I want to see some aggression. And it looks like Vodka has already scouted Vinchester, so possibility of aggression is real oh, here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, has uh, Vinchester scouted? I mean, it's, yeah, it looks like they've... Oh, no, Vinchester hasn't scouted Vodka, but it, it, if you know what this map looks like, it's it's really not that hard to scout your enemy. Yeah, Vinch is pushing deer, and as you guys said, there are two main piles. So it's a little bit tricky, uh, in a sense, to sort of scout your opponent and change your strategy. Like you said, I think your strategy might be fixed before that happens. You know, you're kind of expecting that you're not going to be able to take away their main gold and win the game. Uh, so you need to be able to win sort of the, uh, the battle in the center. I'm not expecting to see, obviously, any towers here. Um, it seems like they're going to play this straight up. Uh, Boar is being chewed up on both sides. Uh, a couple of deer pushed in there from Vinchester. Vinchester is now uh, finally getting forward. Going to get some reveal of this map. And uh, yeah, the loom coming for Vinch. And maybe we'll see an up very soon on 450 food at the moment. Uh, vodka is very low on food because of the uh, potential drush that we would expect to see. I actually don't see a barracks yet, though. No, me neither. I... Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what Vodka's man is, actually. Vodka is actually stockpiling a bit of food, hasn't taken that extra, uh, hasn't taken any gold. Um, and maybe we'll see him click up first here. He's, oh, he's going to grab oh, Vinch's scout like for Vinch's, free. Oh, it looks like Vinch's scout. Yep, Vinch's scout's going to... Oh, that scout is going to survive. Oh, no, it lives. Scout wow. living on 6 I'm HP. surprised. Yeah, Vinch is going to have to That scout keep... is a magician. Yeah. 
Vich is going to have to keep a close eye on that scout because um, on such low HP, even a villager can come over and snipe that thing pretty quickly. Uh, we right. see that Vodka is clicked up to feudal. He'll be about a full minute behind. Sending some villagers here um, forward. Interesting. Uh, are they going to drop a mining camp or are they going to go forward? Yeah, they're going to drop a mining camp. So villagers there yep. coming forward to mine some gold on the front. So it looks like Vodka is going to be committed to mining what looks like the harder gold pile for him. Yeah, I'm surprised that that one's very vulnerable. Yeah, it is nicely at the top of this hill, but um, yeah, that's where he's going to go for yeah, it. Yeah, that's nice. He's going to wall those vills in uh, in case he sees some scouts, but he is actually going to see some action in the form yep. of militia at the moment. Uh, and potentially uh, more than militia, since we see a few vills on gold, we might see men-at-arms coming forward. Those three militia are going to work their way forward. They are going to be scouted out by the equal warrior yep. of Vodka. Uh, archery range coming as well for Vinch, but Vodka doing a very nice job being there to spot it. Man-at-arms coming uh, for Vinchester. So we're going to see some aggression on the front. Those gold miners are walled in, uh, but we'll see how they deal with the men-at-arms when they come. Barracks in defense for Vodka, uh, and Vodka is, I think he knows, about, you know, obviously he scouted out both the Drush and the archers that will follow it. We'll see how he reacts to it. Yep, and he is up to a feudal age now, so... Are we at a good time, by the way? Are we similar times? I am at 10.50. Um, okay, at I'm 10.55-ish, so I think we're fine. Beautiful. So those men-at-arms come in, they find that the gold is palisaded up, archery range will go down, three vills there building it, uh, and that will be in play. Those men-at-arms are a bit beefy for one eagle warrior there from Vodka, so he'll have to retreat off, but he has palisaded a nice little area here uh, to keep his eco relatively safe. Uh, I don't see any holes in that wall. It looks like that's going to be just fine for him. Meanwhile, I would expect yep. to see archers coming in from Vinchester. Here's a couple of archery ranges. Both are starting to pump out some archers. If we look at how many villagers he has on gold, he's got five, uh, so he may be able to keep those archers coming. Uh, meanwhile, second archery range coming for Vodka in defense. Uh, and at the moment, Vinch Vodka is doing just fine. Go ahead, Smarth. Vinchester, <laughs> Smarth. Uh, Vinchester was pre is going to be pressuring... Uh... Vodka's gold with some archers as well. So even though he has the palisades up there, it's not necessarily a surefire defense. Absolutely right. I think um, Vodka's going to try to focus down these men at arms, but they're going to do a really nice job to keep the archers for Vinchester in play and let them annoy the gold. And there go those villagers trying to run around. I don't expect any yep. of them to go down, but at least they have been annoyed. And I wonder if uh, Vodka will try to go and protect this secondary gold. Nice aggression here from Vinch, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I, I really like this. I like seeing this uh, feudal aggression. It's fun. Um, vodka with some skirmishers to counter those archers. Probably clean them up pretty effectively. Yep. Yeah, archer skirmisher mix there from Vodka. That's going to do a nice job to push this army away. But uh, Vinchester doing a nice job kind of coming out, out to that second main gold pile. Uh, seems to be... Uh, ready to starve his opponent of gold. Vodka house for a moment, but he will have a house up, and we will see those skirms still in play, cleaning up archers. Meanwhile, on the other side, we yep. can see Vinchester is uh, totally un uh, harassed at the moment, seems to be happily taking gold with five fills, has not piled up very much gold or food, is all in for this feudal aggression at the moment. Working on the palisades in the back, it looks like uh, Vodka's going to try to put some houses down to block that. Those vills should be okay. There's not a whole lot of archers in play to try to. And he off. is bringing the skirmishers over to uh, pick off those archers as well. Absolutely. Those skirms grab an archer there for free, push those uh, men at arms away. Meanwhile, on the front, we have an archer and a skirmisher that are trying to annoy the gold pile again, but they will be outnumbered by Vodka. So in the end, I'm. And Vinchester's not... just being really annoying this game. <laughs> yeah, he's doing a great job. You should always be trying to annoy your opponent. I think um, Vinch has succeeded in pushing Vodka off of gold, which is worth his investment, but I think Vodka's defended this pretty well. It's um, it's yep. obviously still anybody's game. You can see that uh, Vodka is starting to take on both of Vinch's armies and clean both of them up. So Vinch's aggression, I think, is pretty much cooked, uh, and we'll have to see if he's going to mass. It looks like he's going to pull back those archers and start massing them up a little bit. Uh, maybe in defense, waiting at the top of this hill seems like a very nice area, and maybe he's going to wait for Vodka's push. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Sorry, I was um, yawning for a little bit there. Oh, wow. Um, Putting Smarthy to sleep here with my casting. <laughs> no, you're not. You're doing the job. Uh, walls coming up across the front there for Vinch. Do you see that, Smarthy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he is trying to wall up uh, at the top of his little hill there. 
Yeah, and a second piece of walling as well. It looks like he's going to try to close but, in um, his entire Vodka side. But Vodka dropping a watchtower by uh, his gold to try to bend that. He has uh, massed a huge group of skirms and archers now, trying to go forward with those. Yeah, plus one damage on those. They will be coming up against plus one for Vinch, but Vinch obviously having far fewer numbers. Uh, we can see in the resources that Vinch isn't really massing up any resources, neither is Vodka. So we have a bit of a feudal war going on here. Uh, both players still being aggressive. At the moment, though, those men-at-arms are still in play. Uh, I don't know if yep. you're seeing them on the mill. They're actually going to grab a vill there. So Vodka's going to lose yeah. a vill. Oh, my lord. That is really surprising. I thought those men-at-arms would not be able to do a whole lot more, and they are in on the farms and wood line of Vodka. Meanwhile, uh, Vodka's on the other side. He's pushing away an archer and skirmisher mix from Vinch, and he's going to be in in time to potentially deny a tower. Uh, meanwhile, archers on the back for oh, Vodka yeah. have cleaned up those men-at-arms, so we'll keep an eye on what's going on in Vinchester's area. Those archers and skirms are in. They are starting to pick off the army. Uh, that tower is on about 65%. It looks uh, like he's not so co much concerned with that tower as he is with uh, Vinchester's army. Yeah, absolutely right. I think he is focusing Which down Which makes those sense units. because the army can move and the tower can't. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Uh, there you go. Smarthy with the pro casting. Uh, <laughs> teaching people that towers yep. can't move. No, that's a very good point. That tower is fixed there. Um, it's actually going to do a really nice job of guarding that flank, though. Those, um, those yeah, skirms and true. archers are going to not be able to get in. But yeah, I think you're absolutely right. Vodka doing a, a nice little play there to target down the military units, uh, and he's going to be able to try to harass his economy more. Certainly going to take some fire from that tower when he decides to go past it, unless he goes all the way around the horn. Uh, I think he's going to take a little more fire, but at least he's stopped uh, Vinchester from walling himself in completely. You can see that Vodka is sending forward more archers, so he is all in on aggression here. Vinchester is starting to mass up some food and gold, um, and he will potentially be clicking up to Castle Age relatively soon. Yeah, Vodka's looking in a really good spot right now. He's not being pressured at all, and the, the focus has moved more toward Vinchester's base rather than vodkas which is probably what he wanted yeah it seems like yes. uh, vodka did a good job to take that initial punch from vinchester survive it and really punch back and we'll have to see how vinchester right. does uh in defense Vinch has done a nice thing, though. He split to a second gold pile, even though that one on the front looks like it's less. Uh, it looks like it's a little bit more of a precarious spot. He's actually decided that the back one is under too much pressure, so he's um, he's kind of split his gold mining in half. That's a really smart move. He is quick walling and gate walling across the back of his area to block those skirms in, but they are not going to go around. They're going to attack that house and try to get through to Vinchester's backside. Vinch has clicked up the castle, and he's going to have to survive a few minutes here without very much of an army to try to keep in this game. Stable coming up for Vinchester, uh, starting to take some stone over to the right side of his area. Meanwhile, uh, Vodka is still massing up quite, quite a lot of archers. If we look at Vodka's resources, he is starting to accumulate the gold and food needed to click up relatively soon. Nice quick wall in the back for Vinchester, going to do a nice job to uh, keep that economy relatively safe. The problem might be wood uh, for Vinchester. Uh, at the moment, he's going to be pushed off of that immediate wood line. Uh, those villagers are actually going to go and try to... Who are they going to... Nope, they're going to drop another mining camp. I thought they were going to try to wall those units in uh, from Vodka. Vodka continuing to target down that house. He is going to drop that eventually, uh, albeit slowly. A few more shots, he will get in there, and he will harass all of the wood for Vinch, and that's going to be a real problem for Vinchester. Yeah, I think Vinchester was just trying to wall himself in before he got to uh, Castle Age, so once he got to Castle Age, he could, you know, take this on a little better. Nice little quick uh, stone wall drop there that's going to delay Vodka even more from Vinch. Vinch doing a really nice job impro improvising there, dropping just one panel of wall. That's going to hold Vinch for an extra probably 30 seconds, maybe a minute of game time, and give him a little bit more time to get up to Castle. Vinch will be at Castle very soon. We're going to see one stable, two stables for Vinch. Probably see some knights come out to try to clean this up. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Vodka is still pressuring. Uh, he has clicked up to Castle, but look at all the archers he's got massed up in front of his own gold pile. Yeah. I'd like to it's, see those forward, but obviously we know more than he does. It's looking pretty good for Vodka here. Yeah, absolutely. Vodka doing great here. Um, he actually did end up keeping... Uh, Vinchester did end up keeping Vodka out oh, by building that Vinchester wall Vinchester has some more. villagers going forward now. I don't... Oh, I do see that. Plan is that. Oh, those villagers gonna are going to be picked off hit. by those archers, though. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah, that's so unfortunate. Vinchester getting brave, and he's going to lose three for free on the front, and that is... Wow. Good that call, kind of, Yeah, that ruins his whole... Uh, 
forward plan, whatever it was there. Yeah, so Vinchester is uh, taking... Vinchester does have knights coming out now. Knights coming out for Vinch. Uh, they will be up against plus one, plus one archers for Vodka. Vodka will hit Castle and almost undoubtedly go with uh, crossbows, I would guess. But um, I'm not here to guess. I'm here to commentate. Siege Workshop coming up in defense for Vinchester. And I think um, I think Vinch is going to have to really recover from this. He took a pretty serious punch from this army and losing those three bills on the front. Uh, he is doing good harassment with those knights. Do you see that, Smarthy? Oh, yeah. He's going to pick I off... I think... Yep, he'll... Because uh, it looks like Vodka isn't really paying attention with his army there. But he has some spearmen coming forward to hopefully take out those knights. Yeah, meanwhile... Along with his other army. Meanwhile, on the front, those plus two, plus one crossbows have punched their way in and have taken away Vinchester's gold for a moment. Vodka is going to come back with that pack of archers. I'm not sure why. Maybe just for insurance to clean up these knights. Those knights are now pushed back. If we look at the villager count, it is plus four for Vodka. Uh, the military count is plus 26 for Vodka at the moment. So having a nice big military that he has split into two pieces. One is hanging in defense. One was on the attack. Seeing double monasteries on the front there for Vodka. Do you see that, Smarthy? Um, I I was actually looking at the mangonel that Vinchester has coming forward to try to clean up those crossbows that he has, but now Vodka's taken them all the way back to his base, so that mangonel can't do much damage at the moment. Redemption coming yeah, for Vodka. Yeah, double monastery. I like that. Nice. Yeah, redemption on the way for Vodka, going to get those upgrades, going to beef up those monks as he does. Uh, meanwhile, those knights on the front are plus one defense. Crossbows are pretty beefy, pretty beefy pack of crossbows there. Vinchester is seems a little bit indecisive. I'm not sure if he's going to... He's going to hang around and guard this mangonel, I suppose, and slowly come forward. University up for Vodka, grabbing ballistics, and those uh, crossbows continue to get even meaner and meaner by the moment. Uh, redemption is in. Uh, it looks like for the moment, Vodka's not going to take that secondary, uh, that second big gold pile. He's going to stick with the one on the front. The knights are in to harass that, uh, and the mangonel is trying to snipe the monk here. But at the moment, it seems like Vinchester will be pushed back. Vodka's going to be just fine, don't you think, Smarthy? Uh, yeah, I think uh, if Vodka micros his monks well, he might be able to convert that mangonel. Yeah, doing a really good job redemption. to push that back. Yeah, absolutely. And, um... If he can get those mangonels down, obviously his archers become incredibly um, even more powerful. Right now, the only danger for him is taking a mangonel shot, which uh, which Vinchester is pretty good with his mangonel micro. He might get a... Oh my gosh, uh, that mangonel was converted uh, on the front, and nice. it is taken down. So Vodka losing some archers there, but getting a mangonel and getting one of the mangonels down. He's also going to grab that Vil who was there in repair, and he's going to grab the other mangonel. So definitely huge advantage in that fight for Vodka. But look at this, Mangonel shot. Ooh, nice split in the middle. No archers going down. I'm sure a few lost some HP. Oh, there are a bunch more losing HP yeah. there as well. The knights and archers are in retreat at the moment, uh, but they will do just fine on those hills. Ooh, another... Monk's managing to stay alive uh, through all this Mangonel fire and knight uh, aggression. Yeah, so I see two two TCs at the moment for Vodka. A third one is coming up. Vinchester on the other side has one, two TCs, uh, but not a third yet that I can see. Uh, so Vinch is putting a little more money into his army. I think that's a very smart move. He's got to hold back this aggression from Vodka so he doesn't get knocked out of this game. Uh, he does grab a Mangonel there on the front. Are you seeing the uh, Villagers and Mangonel War on the front there, Smart? Yes, yeah, I see it. Um... Double Both monk conversion. Both those mangonels converted. Yeah, wow. absolutely. And there's the GG from Vinchester. There's the GG. Wow. Beautiful. Uh, that is awesome. Uh, really nice monk play there from Vodka. And really a very, very clean game played by Vodka. A, a nice win. Yeah. Wow. So uh, Vodka is going to be moving into his fifth week as a call to arm champion. Of course, champion only title you get when you've won the whole thing. <laughs> only five. I don't know. Only five units converted there from vodka, but I think four of them were mangonels, which is obviously an incredible oh, yeah. hit to uh, Vinchester's army. He had 40 military units at his largest, which is uh, much higher than the 15 from Vinchester. Vinch did collect some stone, but uh, did not have enough to drop a castle. Um, and yeah, vodka really leading the rest of the resources and getting a really nice win. So there you have it. As Smarthy said, uh, vodka will go on again to uh, call to arms 10. 
Yeah, Exciting. so I'm going to.